spawn. Hey, Rapture. Hope you're doing well. Uh-oh. <laughs> On partially under the car. Wait, that's not even... That's awkward. One thirty, ten eight. And four, one, of the, one of the past locations as well, clocking in. Got another kind of out of place vehicle here. I'm not sure. Not sure what's going on with these 37s, what they are. Sort of disturbance possibly, I don't know. Okay, I don't know why, but now there is no listed location on any of the prior 37s. <laughs> yeah, I see him, Vaughn. See when the next one comes out. Down the floor. 130 is going to position to the west along Ace Jones. Five's doubling back to the Glendale from the initial scene is still there. Looks like the original Glendale's here as well. I'm not sure what exactly is going on. Hmm. There we are. Hey, anything over room temp of the cold though? Relatable. Very relatable. Ugh. Oh my gosh. Look at the city in the distance. It looks fucking sick. Hmm. <clears throat> now one group six. Group 6 HQ. 77, that can respond with me. I'd be advised to just shift to 47. Yeah. I'll get your location on that. Uh, it's going to be start. where that 911 was. We need units there ASAP. Closest unit's going to be Barrack. You're to the east. 130 in route. Different power stream. Okay, I'm just getting enough separated. Uh, if somebody could take <coughs> statement from River and then River shows up after that. A statement from these two gentlemen. Along with River, I'm gonna. Uh, Which one's River? Uh, the one in black. They smoke him. Uh, the one in the middle.
They're back, let me just squeeze by. I'm gonna talk to one of those officers. Send it! <clears throat> Hello. To, uh, uh, anyone here witness what just occurred? Assist this we'll gentleman in the, the end of the past story. Um, uh, no, I didn't know. Okay, all right. Uh, victims, I can have my partner drop me uh, off. Sir, can I go ahead and co have a conversation with you? Yeah, I was trying to get caught on the answer. They know you. Yeah, here, uh, come come over here. We'll speak across the way. I, I'll be very clear. I did not see what happened this time. And okay. not fully what happens the first time either, but I did see this man who, have, who wanted to vault already down, basically. All right, you have, uh, you have some ID with you? Yeah, of course. Right, let me go ahead and see that. Here you go. Uh, Matias Satoski. All right, and all right. So, what what context do you have here? What what happened? Okay, okay. So here I'll be very clear. We just saw the police come up, and we were worried about Alex. So we came, you know, we walked up. We saw a man already on the ground. And you, you know, saw a police call roll up. So here, you know, I didn't see anything really. However, in the, um, you know, in the earlier we were at the vault, we were like a whole like five cars or something. You know, five. I mean, sets of employees and um there we saw this gentleman here um inside are you talking about the one in, on the ground yeah yeah the one on the ground in alexander's like truck or van uh in wounded, his van? you know yeah okay and uh, we heard from several individuals or, or colleagues that he pulled knife you know in the alley there hmm. and everybody like kind of beat him down um, I don't know who. I'm guessing Alexander or Postman, you know, was talking to your colleague over there. Um, and now he did this again here. After got picked up by EMS. I didn't see any of your police officers at uh, at the vaults, but we we left. Uh, we left uh, before EMS left. So. <coughs> okay. So just to verify the. The long story short is essentially you didn't necessarily see anything here. However, the same individual not long ago, or at least earlier in the day, um, had yeah, been well, beaten down. We're talking like, no, no, we're talking like literally five minutes, I, okay. ten minutes. Got it. So the like, individual like five, ten minutes ago was at the Bay City Bank, um, mm -hmm. seemingly attempted to rob someone and was beat down by yeah, uh, at least five, we were, we were, five employees because y'all had a large group of people. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know who actually beat them down, but I did saw the after effects and how everybody was like talking about it. Okay, and so maybe did you indicate? Employees. Did you indicate that uh, the injured individual was in Alex's van? Uh, yes, but it looks like it. Yeah. Okay, uh, I, I and... think so at least. All right, um, I'm trying to think of. Because so... I saw a man hunched over, you know, right, as right, right. he was wounded at the back. Okay, and do you have um, do you have your uh, your phone number uh, just so I can document yeah, sure. this? Of course, here it is. I'm also on the yellow pages in worst case, but uh, I can uh, repeat it here for you when you're ready. Okay, so four two zero five seven eight four eight five nine. Is that correct? And I'm just senior employee, Alexander okay. Rodriguez. You know, I said manager. Right. Uh, and also to verify your state ID is 5894, correct? Uh, let me double check so I don't... Yes, that's correct. 5894. All right. Um, so, do you I think know... that's the same EMS also that responded. Okay. You might All recognize right, him. Sorry. Uh, no, you're good. You're good. Uh, do you know if anyone, uh, when you arrived, did you see anyone other than uh, Alexander here? Uh, that may have witnessed the events mm, i don't know i i, I can't say because like w what we saw we were about to pull out my truck you know the the middle one over there mm -hmm. and um as we walked over we saw we saw uh, you know police pull in so maybe some of the employees that has been here before or maybe are out on runs right now Got it. but okay. uh, we didn't see anything go down we just saw the man already down 
police, and we just went over to check over if Alexander was all right, you know. All right, sounds good. I'm going to go ahead and check in with the others and see if they witnessed anything. Yeah, sure. Uh, if I need uh, anything from you, I'll uh, I'll approach you. Um, yep. But if you're not here, uh, I will give you a call, okay? No, we'll, we'll give it a little bit. So, all right, perfect. So, Thank you. I appreciate it. I'm celebrating with my partner who's soon to become lawyer, so. Ooh, okay. Well, well, that's why the story. So that's why we take a little break. My partner is the fellow stogie. Yeah. Yeah, we're okay. Hello. Hello there. Sure. I'm, uh, I'm Officer Rhodes with the LSPD. Hi, um, sir. Really quick, uh, did either of y'all see the altercation that occurred here? Uh, you I, know, didn't, I, I wasn't. I ago? wasn't a witness to anything, and I'm I, I'm trying to not really uh, <clears throat> bias myself in any way because okay. uh, I am a paralegal at the at the city hall. So um, I, I I was at the scene, but I did not witness anything. Okay, so you didn't actually see anything of, of no. Did you hear anything? Um, only what only what the parties involved said, which doesn't really mean anything. I mean, it it would with with us uh, trying to determine, you know, uh, who the aggressor here was. Um, so, so the only thing I heard, I I heard Alex say, "This guy tried to stab me with a knife when we were at the bank, and I knocked him out with the wrench." And he said the same thing happened here. That's all that was said to me, and I didn't witness anything to dispute or confirm that that was true. Okay. I only Got saw it. the scene. I didn't <coughs> see the uh, act. Right, right. You were in the general vicinity. You didn't actually witness any actions. You just nope. heard a potential sort of verbal altercation. I, I, but I, didn't heard, see I heard him say what happened. Got it. Okay. So, so just to clarify, then, you didn't hear the altercation you only nope. heard what Mr. River stated. After okay. The fact. All right. Understood. Correct. Okay. Perfect. Yeah, that's why I was trying to say I don't think it's really. Yeah. Possible. No. You're. You're good. You're good. I. You know. Unfortunately. Um. You, well, not unfortunately. You being a paralegal, you understand the difference between hearing something. Uh. Correct. You know, as sort of a, a. A first party on scene versus you know someone who heard someone say something happened because those are two very different things. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. There was a okay. party involved. But all right. It was after the fact. Got it. And from my understanding, there was an altercation that occurred at the bank prior to. Were either of you two? Yeah, um, I was in both. Well, I was in both places, okay. but both times I was not. I was not actively looking at what was Understood. happening, nor did, nor did I hear what was happening. Got it. I and only, yeah, I noticed after oops. the fact that there was a police, or that there was a, you know, some guy yelling on the ground, and then I noticed here that there was a police car, and I was like, "What the fuck is the police car doing here?" Yeah. But, who was who was the person? Wait, you saw, did you see the guy who was in Alex's van? Because I don't know if it was the guy. I don't know who was in Alex's van. I I know Alex was with somebody because I saw him over at City Hall. Oh no! But I, know, I don't know. I, I don't think. I don't think. This oh, guy I thought was that there him. was the I thought the Italian guy or whatever was the one who was on the ground. But no, it's the other way around. So my statement is wrong. So it was uh, a victim, an Italian guy in suit. Who was in Alex Van? The guy who did this was on the ground. Okay, got uh, it. Got it. I'll go yeah, ahead and change bad. that here. No, it's all right. Yeah, um, I, w I wasn't here, so I can't tell you too much anyway, uh, either. Got it. All right, understood. Thank y'all. But we do have a uh, who might have witnessed what happened at the vault that is not here. But yeah, got there it. was. I mean, when we pulled up to the vault, there was four or five trucks already there, so there were absolutely witnesses. Unfortunately, because all the trucks were blocking the door, our truck couldn't fit in. We, we're driving this big rig here to our right. Mm -hmm. So uh, we couldn't fit in. So I, I wasn't even close enough to see anything, right? Got it. Okay. All right. Understood. All right. If that's the case, um, I appreciate y'all uh, for what you told me. I'm going to head back there and uh, try to figure out what's going on with the other mm -hmm. officers. Okay. I appreciate that. I've actually got a question for you, officer. Uh, give um, me just... Give me. Just a moment. Um, yeah, you so do I your can... thing. You do your thing. All right, thank you. <coughs> what are you getting from them? Uh, so I have an individual by the name of uh, Motia Satovsky. A uh, long story short, he said that five, ten minutes prior to this situation, uh, they there was a group of them, at least like five vans at the Bay City Bank, where uh, he saw an individual down on the ground. Um, he did specifically indicate he didn't see anything. However, um, well, he didn't see, like, the actual 
thing that occurred, um, but he heard uh, from coworkers that the individual who was down here had pulled the knife on River at the bank and had gotten beaten down as a result because there are so many Group 6 drivers there. Um, so the, the TLDR is this guy, uh, I guess, tried to rob someone at the Bay City Bank, got his ass beat, got assisted by EMS, and then immediately came here in an attempt to either do it again or hurt the person who beat his ass. That's yeah. the general gist of, of what I got. Yeah, I mean... What, what did you just do? The guy's giving me some kind of general basic story of how it was the opposite way around, but... Well, then how'd he end up here? How is he going to make that make sense? Right? You get beat up by Group 6 workers. Why do you end up at Group 6 again? Because he was working Group 6. So the Group 6 worker was... Wait, are you talking about River? Or are you talking about the person who was beat down? They both were working. Interesting. They both were working. The guy that got beat down, his name is Tommy DeVito. He, uh... He claimed to just kind of, like, have a weapon out to kind of defend himself. Because he was solo. And, okay. Uh, I mean, that, at that point, is he, it not brandishing a non-firearm? Right, yeah, it is. But Interesting. He, uh, it's just, I don't know. The thing is, the information I've been provided is not like a first-hand account of what actually happened. Like, yeah. these people either... Sh and I asked all three of them uh, that were there, most of which weren't actually... Sorry, most of uh, which weren't actually present. They sort of just showed up, they saw the injured individual, and it was explained to them a certain way. But again, it's far different than them having actually witnessed anything. Yeah, uh, I just, I don't know, I was hoping there would be something more concrete, because I just, I don't know, I'm not really sitting too, uh, I don't really like to push things unless I feel, like, 100% accountable, like, I know we right. have the no, I, you're, 911 calls, and, and that way it's, like, I mean, you're good. Self-defense, but I just, I mean, you guys, I don't know, you guys know me, when do I ever do something like this, right? It's just one person's what, word what against the others, essentially. Yeah, I was we'll told that there were a ton of bank trucks at the situation at the Bay City Bank, but... For the people who were there, they said that there was such a backup of bank trucks that were there that uh, most of them, like, their their vans didn't fit, for example. So they were waiting. So they, again, they didn't witness the actual event. They just heard what occurred, which, you know, at that point, it's just secondhand information. Uh, what are you supposed to do with that, right? Like, one person saying something and five people repeating it because they heard what the person said is different than five people having witnessed the event. Uh, to be able to then, you know, state what they actually saw. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, it's the typical history is written by the victor. And people won't know what actually happened. Just that one shows up as South Mount Milton, by the way. Uh, so it should be good. Yeah, picture perfect South Mount Milton, same area. Um, okay. So, oh, 37 Bravo. Trespassing pass on private property. <coughs> Interesting. Can't say I've seen that. Okay. I think uh, if it's all if it's all the same with you, Turner, once that guy gets medical, he can just be let go. I don't really feel comfortable like pushing it in its entirety with pretty much all the statements not uh, really giving us too much factual evidence. Stand for? Well, whatever you get, you good for. I'll I'll, uh, I'll put the statement I got from. Uh, River into the statement of the report now. Do you have a report up for it? I do not. I'll post one up. Uh, one thirty will put in uh, the individual's uh, statement that I got. However, the TLDR was that despite speaking to three different people, none of them actually witnessed anything. The only thing they have is uh, essentially what was said to them. So I, I, their testimony is kind of worthless because it would have come from one person. <coughs> Uh, I did get, uh, or I attempted to get statements from three individuals. However, for uh, all three of them, they didn't actually witness anything. 
all they really have is uh, information that had been told to them by River. Um, so, I mean, those statements don't really add any value. It's kind of one person's word repeated uh, a few times. And not much we can really do with that, unfortunately. Yeah, definitely. <clears throat> All right. Who is looking to speak oh, to me? No, if we see people getting What's robbed and, and you drive Hello. past. Hey, how Hello. are you One doing? One of my employees tried Call to stab in. me. Can you believe that? Uh, yeah, I can believe it. I can believe it. People are stupid. It's the first time it's ever happened in my life. It, yeah, people crazy. are are stupid. That That's yeah, the reality. Like, you know, if you're disgruntled with work, that's okay. But why try and stab the manager, the guy that's trying to help you? Well, I mean, if they're disgruntled, they're probably... Listen, they think... Okay. You know how when someone gets their phone bill or their internet bill or, you know, their electricity bill and yeah. it's super expensive and they call the company oh. and they treat the person on the phone like they are the ones solely responsible for whatever yeah. happened, even though it's completely their fault and they fucked up and they didn't yeah. update their credit card information and it falls entirely on them, but they still treat the person like shit. That's mm -hmm. essentially what this guy did. Um, it seems, at least, uh, given given the circumstances. Well, I'm um, kind of confused. I'll go ahead. Sorry. Uh, nope. Um, from my understanding, by the way, uh, you, you may not you may not like this, but um, Eric, do you need a statement from the, uh, the statements that we received, uh, um, a uh, lot of them are uh, sort of information uh, are, just restated. From my understanding, that uh, you had told people. I may have told people something to the extent of like, oh, uh, you know, I I beat this guy up because he he tried to you know insert whatever to me, right? Oh um, well, no, he had a knife and ran up. Right, right, right. Yeah, uh, I so mean, here's my partner on the job. Uh, so the issue that we have, um, isn't that we don't believe you. Uh, it's it's not about what we know; it's about what we can prove, right? And yeah. the unfortunate reality is that uh, just about every statement we got uh, is pretty much. Uh, sort of a, a repeat of what uh, you had told to other individuals. So we didn't have any sort oh, of firsthand witnesses. Um, so even though, from my understanding, there were a ton of people that were there, uh, from my understanding, there was also sort of a backlog of trucks uh, that were trying to unload. Um, and so some people weren't even nearby. Uh, but yeah, just about everyone we spoke to didn't actually witness anything. Uh, I wish they did. Uh, trust me, me too, because yeah, if, if we could identify... Charge them. It, exactly. However, this is going to be a documented uh, incident, um, and the follow-up is if if this individual did, in fact, you know, if, if they're... Obviously, you're... I'm just you're scared he might come stuff. back after me again. Well, you I mean, he, he already has, right? Like, yeah, well, <laughs> It's yeah, likely to happen clearly. again. So make sure, please, please, please make sure you are not alone um, and ensure okay. that, you know... In the event that something happens, obviously let us know, just as you did this time. Um, that way, or if you're driving and you have a passenger and you see that you're being followed or the person's in the vicinity, let us know. That way we can preemptively get someone out, given, you know, who's that. Wait, I'm sorry, what happened? You just, we, me and my partner just got back. with us, Alex? Um, eh. there seems to be some internal conflict with Group 6. Some guy is not happy, but... Yeah, um, it be what it be. I don't want to derail. Are we gonna be safe? Uh, well, I mean, guys, I, mean I, I can't promise mind, anything. Right? I think I think you guys are gonna be fine. All right. I mean, I think he wanted me. I'm not sure why. I mean, I'm sure you guys like. I give you guys bonuses, take you out for food all the time. You guys know how I am with you. Great. So I'm not sure why the hell that guy was disgruntled. You know what I mean? Um, now I'm looking at my records here, and I don't think it's a. Re I think it's a temp, which makes things a little bit more awkward. I don't know why I went out with a temp. Mm. But uh, yeah, just make sure you're you're with someone, cause uh, I mean, if he came back, if he got beaten up, and then came back five minutes after receiving medical attention, <laughs> the likelihood of this happening again is not slim. I'll tell you that much. Well, yeah. What I'm kind of what I was gonna say earlier is I'm like confused, that man called me. I, I could have swore me. that people at the bank seen him with a fucking knife in the hand because the, the whole conversation was. Uh, when he was down on the ground, he's like, I wasn't going to hit you. I was just holding it for my protection. And I was like, what do you mean? You were still brandishing a weapon. And then someone in the car beside us said something silly. But uh, if mm. nobody's seen he anything, that's jail okay. Or? Uh, from my understanding, he's being released. And again, uh, the reason he's being released is because this, as fucked up as it may sound, right? Like, wow, I believe I Alex. I remember hearing that it, conversation. 
Guys, listen, it's, it's because I'm an ex-cop. My word means nothing. No, no, no. It's got nothing to do with that. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I know, I know. No, it's, um, a, it's a he said, she said. Pretty much, oh, because so like I said, for everyone I questioned, um, th there was a common theme amongst all of it, which was they heard what happened. And when I say heard, they heard from someone what happened, but they didn't actually witness the situation themselves. Well, that's right? because oh, the way God. all the trucks okay. were parked, right, in the Correct. back. I right, mean, they were blocking stuff, right? It. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I, yeah, so, I, I, Well, I could have swore anybody who would have been down here in the HQ should have just seen me running like a little bitch away from a knife before using a wrench on him. Wait, sir, did a temp try to attack you? It literally just happened. So it happened at the bank, oh, and I'm, I thought nothing of it. I was like, okay, he's just fucking around, right? And then we come back to the HQ. We drop the vehicle off, and then he goes okay. from, uh, you know, being chill to, like, trying to attack me again. Uh, is there a reason? Yeah. Does anybody have any ideas? I've or never seen him before. Crazy? Uh, his name's Tommy DeVito. I don't know if you guys have. Tommy DeVito. Okay, I'll keep a, I'll yeah. keep a note out. Mr. Rudge, you were explaining uh, why he was released. Can you explain it again? Uh, yes, from from my understanding, uh, the only sort of witness to the actual event was Mr. River here. Um, and obviously he had direct involvement. And the statements we received from anybody else who was questioned essentially stated that they heard what had happened from somebody else. I mean, guys, so at the end of the day, it just means on... the guy's not getting charged. It doesn't affect hey, us at all. Were you guys at the bank when, that, right? uh, when the whole thing went down or no? We it, it doesn't no. matter, guys. At the end of the day, this is what matters. I'm not the one being charged, and he's currently not here. Hey, oh, That's all that matters. This guy there. As um, long as it, it doesn't affect that. us. Oh, no, you, actually, you guys, you guys, guys I was there. I think he was in the I vehicle right beside him. us. Um, right there. Sure, I, I can, oh, I can ask. I mean, it's, it's yeah, possible yeah, that I'm he involved. may have... I'm not, yeah. I, won't, I won't go over there. Yeah. Hey, excuse me. Boss. Hey, Boss. just out of curiosity, um, were you two present for a situation that happened at the Bay City Bank maybe 20 or so minutes ago? No, we no. just got back from the bank uh, two minutes ago and uh, there was nobody there but us and another uh, uh So th this was like, tw I, I don't know if it was 20, 30 minutes ago. Um, no. Someone had someone had been beaten down. Eventually EMS was called. Um, if you didn't, that's fine. Uh, I, you know, I'm just I'm just asking around to see if anyone actually witnessed what occurred. Oh no, um, I didn't see anything. Yeah, no, sorry. Didn't, we didn't see anything. Okay, no, it's all right. It's all right. Don't don't apologize. You're good. If you didn't see something, you didn't see something, right? Uh, all right. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Sure. No Y'all have a wonderful day. You too. Yeah, unfortunately not. Um, no, it's okay. Uh, it doesn't matter to me. No. Yeah, just, I mean, uh, trust me, if he's done it twice, I know he's going to do it a third time, and this time I'll have all of them watch it and report mm -hmm. it. Yeah, because um, um, the, the primary mind, uh, concern is if he's worked for Group 6, if he was your partner, he's going to know, ideally, uh, where you're going to pull up, right? He's going to know, uh, if, for example, in the bank, oh, if there's no, any I sort already of blind fired spots. Him from the group. Oh. Yeah, so he's not going to well, know where I mean, I'm going at all. Well, so here's the issue. He might know, you know, a general route that y'all take. He might wait at the Bay City Bank, right? Like, don't don't underestimate. And not only that, people wait on rooftops there, so just be oh, careful. Oh, Rhodes, this is the this is the creme of the crop. You ready? You can ask all these guys. I don't normally go out, right? I'm the manager. I sit here do all the management, HR evaluations. I only went out because I was trying to help a guy, which seemed very weird to begin with. Wouldn't you guys all agree oh, on that? Oh, wait, wait, uh. Was that the gentleman you went out to the, his uh, van with? I saw you get in the passenger seat when me and my partner Marty were uh, about yeah, to Yeah, correct. That guy. Okay, so it was that guy. Yeah, he yeah. seemed a bit uh, unhinged. He was, he was disgruntled and stuff. That's why, you know, I was willing to go out with him because you guys know me. I want everyone to be happy at Group 6 and just be awesome. So yeah. it's really a rarity, Rhodes, that you actually see me out there, right? Yeah. Uh, you're not wrong. Typically, I do um, see you here. So that that's why I'm saying... I. It, Part of me feels like uh, he wanted to do it at the pier and pussied out. Then we went to Bay City Bank. He thought about doing it. Then we had too many employees show up because originally it was just me and him and one other van there. Wait a minute. Hold and on. Then, wait, wait, wait. Hold, hold wait. your thought. Hold your thought. Sorry. One second. And then a group six. He finally did it when he thought he had a clear chance. Sounds like you need a truck to ride in. You got you covered. Well, no, you guys know me. I don't even go out there. It's like, I don't even care. This is probably the last time I say yes to taking you guys out. You know what I mean? No. Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. I'm not going out anymore after this, guys. I'm going to be real. 
Yeah. We got your back forever, all right? No, I know you guys do. You guys are all great employees, right? You're a recent supervisor as well. I'm happy I promoted you. You deserve it. Um, by the way, we still have one supervisor position left, but now uh, I don't even know if I can interview people one-on-one. -on -one. <laughs> right. But then again, this is, so, this is a one instance. It's the first time anyone's ever tried to stab me, right? So. Oh, some of the times you unstabbed in. No, 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 you will not. Oh, that, that, that'll just no, make a whole not. another problem for the company. I, I, listen, I know you guys well, are loyal. Well, if Listen, I know you guys are loyal and you love me and shit, but no, if someone's stabbing me, just let them stab me, okay? Do not put your life in risk. Okay. Yeah. You know, I was hoping to speak to... You know, speak to you about getting senior employee, but I guess that can wait. Yeah, yeah, no, I don't think I'm doing. Oh, oh, get off your phone. There's a spider. Oh. oh, Jesus. Um, what was uh, that individual's name? Tommy. Tommy DeVito. Whatever. Tommy. Here you go. Oh. All right, pick up your hat. Right. But DeVito. don't watch out okay, for that perfect. spider. At least we killed him. Um, I. How you know big that spider is. I have a general idea of something, but um, okay, hold on, guys. This is but I, I, I do have respect. well, I do have to get going, um, but yeah. I'm I'm gonna look into something. Uh, but please, 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 just be careful, okay? The scumbag's okay. probably gonna come back, and he might attempt again. So just be mindful of that, okay? Yeah, it Thank sounds you. very much uh, sounds very much understood. All right, y'all have a good one. Stay right, safe. Wait, wait, hold on, Rhodes, Rhodes. Oh. Just, just whisper, even though you gotta run real quick. Just, just wait, like, just... What, what's up? What do you think? You think I'm in danger? Like, is this, uh, this is definitely out of the ordinary, pal. Well, I just possibly, got promoted to manager yesterday, you know, and I know that, uh, sure that you're aware one of the assistant managers shit, might right? not be too happy. Hold it down. But I don't think it's related. Yeah, I need to okay. Go to the um, yeah. yeah, I I don't have much information right now, but I'm I something kind of clicked in my mind, uh, but I I can't really say much. Okay, okay, I'm can't really sorry. say much. That's not him, right? Yeah. I appreciate you, Mr. Rhodes. You know that. Thank you. You have a good one. Stay safe. You need to jump, you too. Oh, it's about to go. 130 radio check. Uh, dispatch 130. Is anyone familiar with an investigation that uh, Shiesty is looking into regarding stabbing of workers i don't know if it's group six or grime uh if it's the situation from yesterday with nunu yeah whatever that one... investigation was 113 helped chaisty uh apprehend nunu at the power grid but i believe that was two days ago 10-4 in in that situation was there an underlying investigation where he was trying to obtain information from Nunu? Mm, not that I was aware of. He had a CI that was setting up Nunu multiple times that he was trying to apprehend her. I'm sorry. He had a CI that was trying to apprehend a Victor Watson, I believe was his name. And the second time we went to apprehend Victor Watson, uh, Nunu was also a suspect and we apprehended Nunu on the second time. 10-4, okay. I assume that there it was an active investigation on his part. He did not relay any of that information of why he wanted them. He just used us to help from his CI's information. 10-4, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to look for reports from Den to see if I can narrow this down. Because, Beric, this could potentially be related to some capacity. I swear uh, Den had made mention of a co-worker... Like someone sort of being a serial stabber of people that they're working with. Now, I don't know if that was specific to Grime. I don't know if that was specific to Group 6. Um, the reason it piqued my interest was because uh, Mr. River indicated, uh, you know, I think he actually may have tried to do this to me at the pier, um, but like backed out and then did it at the bank. 113 is the first location that we were apprehending Victor Watson was at the pier. It could be a coincidence. It was Del Perro Pier. <clears throat> yeah, I think it's uh, definitely worth looking into in case there is relation. Not. 100 percent 
I don't, yeah, I don't. I want to say pretty confidently that he said group six, but I'm not 100% on that. I know he mentioned like another woman as well that he thought was the primary suspect, but not sure. And for, I believe that name to be uh, Ra Raya, Raya, R maybe R A I A, something like that. <coughs> you know what? Let's just search R A I A. Female, senior bones, uniform, incapacitated in a grave. Uh, 91 from Jane Eric had come through regarding kidnapping one of her colleagues. The victim appeared to match the description given by Jane Eric in her 911. Very called for EMS to attend the scene mon uh, and monitored Raya Jane's vitals. Her pulse was low, but she was breathing. Happened to be what looked like a fingernail missing from her hand. There were a couple notes uh, left around her. But stopping addict to customers, stay away from Jason. Knife was also located next to her body. Veronica Westfield was the attending EMS. So Raya uh, stayed in medical center alongside uh, Officer Dugong after Dr. Bones relayed to PD that there was a potential torture victim. Uh, I was doing a food delivery yesterday and was going back to the restaurant and Grandpa said uh, he wanted to talk to me. Um, I went to Grandpa and we talked a little bit. There was a car there and two people came out. Uh, two Santas came out. They had knives. They put me in the trunk. Uh, they took me somewhere. They told me to sit down. Uh, they were asking a bunch of things. One of them grabbed my hand. I don't remember what happened afterwards. I just woke up here. Grandpa's, potentially Eugene. Um, and there was a J. Person name's Tommy. <clears throat> they both looked the same, wearing the same pants, uh, same shirt, same face. They're all dressed up like Santa. I don't know where they took me. I don't remember any questions uh, that were asked me from the back door senior buns uh, before going there got a call from my friend saying grandpa wanted to talk to me saw grandpa uh, we walked for like 10 seconds uh, there was a car there were two people um note in my pocket that said don't be rude to customers and stay away from jason phone call between gray and kane uh raya kane is recovering well doctor said her fingernail will grow back uh raya seeking therapy for the incident from one one three direct uh, go for 130, but be advised, I found a report with Raya. Um, it, it, Vivian Gray also has involvement in this. I'm not sure if that's what you're about to bring out. Uh, I was just going to let you know, 523 is the report for the situation that we apprehended Nunu for. Ten four. thank you. Is there like? Okay, this is actually kind of rough. Sixty-nine. I mean, if they were apprehended, surely it's right. The mess alert. Uh, apologies. Send it. Mm. You're all good. Are you available or to take this nine one one, or would you like me to? Are you still repairing? I am still repairing. Always repairing. Ten. Oh wait, am I still I'll searching? The latest no. I'm so lost. I can't go to the next page here. So I have, <laughs> I have to do this. You know what? Let me just do this. Two five two three will show up. Dispatch one one three seventy six ten forty seven and route fifty eight. Group six. Vince Watson. Officer Scheisse was in a uh, hospital emergency room looking for Nunu after seeing Mr. Uh, Pullum, who's frequently seen with her. That's a uh, very odd spot. Location was provided from that's why I'm going out there. Mr. Alexander Rivers, who helped Denzel find her location later. Mr. Scheisse went into the Group 6 HQ when uh, Mr. Jason Pullum started, uh, or stated to keep hiding behind a Group 6 van in the HQ depot. 
Mr. Shicey approached uh, Miss Nunu and asked her to come out with her hands up. Ran into a gray muscle car uh, that had a driver waiting and fled the scene. Officers pursued the car but lost in the Vinewood Hills. The chase was called the UTL. Officer Shicey arrived back in the city. A 911 call came across dispatch about a man that had uh, been stabbed in the Group 6 HQ. Officer Shicey called uh, for 50 shoes to his location and went to ensure no witnesses or suspects were present. MS took Mr. River to the hospital where he was treated for stab wounds. Officer Shicey then took Mr. River's statement uh, where he said that he had stayed in the Group 6 HQ after Denzel left uh, while on the chase for the gray muscle car. Tow truck came into the HQ. A male, not believed to be in the truck, uh, used to discover to sneak up on Mr. River and stabbed him. The description of the male that stabbed Mr. Alexander had a red hat and a thick beard and was believed to be Mr. Watson. He had been present in the hospital when Mr. Jason uh, Pullum had attacked Mr. Alexander uh, with the help of Vince Watson. Uh, matching the description of the aggressor at the Group 6 HQ stabbing for snitching on the location of Miss Nunu. The clear attack of vengeance on Mr. Alexander River. Uh, later, the vehicle seen again, um, or was seen again, but it took a tight uh, squeeze, which PDCBP guys were unable to take BCB to officers. Officer Shicey called Mr. Uh, Fulham and asked him to come down to the police HQ to have a conversation about the previous incident involving Miss Nunu. Pullum was a witness to the stabbing, and Mr. Pullum called Miss Nunu uh, for the streets. <laughs> Mr. Pullum says that he just met Vince Watson, who's dating one of his friends, uh, who's also or also for the streets. Mr. Jason tries to get in contact with Miss Nunu for Officer uh, Shicey. It was unsuccessful. At the end, Mr. Jason agreed to set up Mr. Watson for the stabbing of Mr. Alexander River for a lesser charge. It was only two days ago. What the fuck? Um, Officer DiRolo uh, responded to backup request of Officer Shicey. On arrival, he saw, uh, or she saw Alexander River on the ground with a lot of blood surrounding him. He was treated by EMS and then transported to the hospital where he received further care and was uh, able to give a statement regarding the situation. Uh, later in the day, Officer Shicey requested additionals as he had information about the suspects regarding the stabbing. The suspect, Nunu, was found at the power station on the east side of the city. He attempted to flee in a hot pink car as well as a black car, but was tackled by Officer Shicey. They sent into custody without incident. <clears throat> where the fuck does Tommy... Do you happen to get a look at uh, the, the injured subject at, at Group 6 HQ? Did you take a look at his injuries? Yes, sir. Well, what what did they look like to you? Uh, looked like he had just been beaten, as he described, with a uh, with a wrench. And by the looks of it, quite a few uh, broken bones. Did you see several uh, bruisings from multiple strikes, or was it a single strike? I believe I observed two. I was more concerned with the uh, broken bones, however, so I would not hold that uh, to a high standard. Yeah, poor. Trying to piece it together, I, I actually ended up uh, interviewing him, and he said that they, they continued to beat him while he's on the ground. At that yeah. point, that's... Hmm. That's a dip to murder type uh, territory. I would check out. Um, Aphrodite did look over him as well. She would probably have uh, better check with the injuries. A better line up with that, but he definitely had some broken bones, so I stopped touching him at that point. So, for maybe some additional context, from my understanding, Mr. River had uh, defended himself from Mr. DeVito charging him with a knife at the Bay City Bank. He then received medical attention, and then within five minutes, showed up at the Group 6 HQ, and that's when it happened again. Mr. River called 911, and then we received the 47, which to me would indicate that, you know... Uh... <laughs> He was hit, so I don't know if the injuries that y'all are referencing could be consistent with the prior injury and the new one. I I'm genuinely not sure, but well, keep that in mind. Let me take this injured person into uh, the room, and I will explain some more to you. I'm for I just so don't both know. both their if... statements are, are saying that they both. I took both of them. Both statements state that uh, they drove back together. Same truck after the incident at the vault. That's strange. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, there, there's, there's something going on here. These guys are, are there's something weird. You know, if, if we had a problem with somebody, you don't you don't just go right back to them and act like nothing happened and then right. stay quiet in the same vehicle. It's, it's some odds going on. You're not wrong. Also be advised, I'm referencing some prior reports. Uh, Mr. River was the victim of a stabbing uh, two days ago, I believe on the 28th. Um, and he did reference to me before I left there uh, like 20 minutes ago that uh, he does have an issue with another assistant manager or something to that extent. Um, he says, I don't think they would do this, but you never know. And again, this sort of circles back around to Shiesty's investigation where it is group six drivers and someone stabbing them uh, and then leaving them. So I don't know if this is related. Can I, I definitely. What information do you need from me? Uh, so the individual uh, that was, uh, I believe, struck by a wrench, I could be wrong, at the Bay City Bank that was then retreated at the group six HQ, were they brought to yeah. the hospital? Uh, the first time they were not brought to the hospital, they just had some severe bruising and the wind knocked out of them. Uh, the second time they were brought to the hospital, I just had to use a cop car to transport them. 10-4. And when they were looked over the second time, did they have any injuries that were still consistent with the first incident? Or, like, it... I guess what I'm asking here... Do you mean... Sorry, Sorry go ahead. Continue? Um, I guess what I'm asking here is because... Uh, Officers indicated that there have there may have been multiple strikes from the wrench. Um, and I just don't know if that is from a combination of the first and second incident happening or happening within short proximity to each other. Uh, or if, you know, those new injuries, the multiple injuries were all a part of the new situation. So the first situation, he was kind of just, you know, knocked down. He had a couple bruises. The second situation, uh, it... The injuries he had would be consistent with people I see who are beaten with large metal objects. So it would be that there were even more injuries the second time that looked like to have happened from a large metal object. There were some like red paint, uh, I don't know, follicles, whatever, on the wounds. Okay. Do you happen to recall or have documented how many uh, strikes that potentially may have taken place? How many individual bruises do you have that you can uh, tie uh, to the second incident? Well, the first time around, I know he had a significant bruise on the back of his head and his right foot. The second time around, he was beat so badly over all of his limbs, I couldn't even tell. I thought his entire body was broken. Copy. Genuinely surprised he was able to have a conscious conversation with us. Hmm. Well, Beric, this is your case, but uh, I think this is leaning more towards an uh, attempted murder charge on Alexander there. If you want to continue interviewing people or proceeding, how you want to proceed with it, but. Um, I mean. <clears throat> We could probably take our time with we want to press charges against him and uh, even see if it occurs again hmm. just to uh, have that third strike and kind of go from there. But if uh, you would like me to push something more, I can try and muster something together. Your case. It's up to you. I'm just trying to provide all the information and make sure that we are doing our work around here. I'm going to make a report on the MDW, at least on the EMS side, and I'll include my contact information. So if you'd like to reference it later or contact me at all on there. Copy. What is our purpose right now for uh, pulling EMS reports and attaching them to ours? Can, do, I, do we need a command or high command approval from EMS, or do you have a process for that? I'm going to be 100% honest with you. I have no clue. Yeah. <laughs> Copy. Uh, let sorry me to buy in. Aphrodite, oh, there is uh it's okay on that in the mdt you just need to write a report using the template and then um tag it and then pd should be able to see it should be oh, oh perfect all right just give me a few minutes to write this down for you guys it worked
Yeah, I'd say at this point we just gather as much information as possible and then if it occurs again, we'll uh, take action at that point. I do think it's worth getting together with uh, Den to see if there's any overlap with the prior situation. Yeah, I think yeah, that's a good idea. <coughs> Barrick, are you normally around when uh, Shiesty gets on duty? Uh, typically, but I've been on duty for a little over 19 hours at this point, so I will not speak to him today, most likely. Copy. <laughs> Absolutely. Get over to. Can you make sure that was Pete Down? What was her name? Tommy DeVito. Just thank you. Dispatch 11347 and Grape Seed, code 4, 10 8. Decisions, decisions. Any speeders? No, let's go this way. Hello. Hey, how's it going? I'm doing all right. How are you? Yeah, good. Good. Thank you, sir. That's Hi. good. That's good. Hello. Well, just do me a favor, okay? I, I know you're driving a van and it's a relatively sharp turn. Just be mindful, all right? You, you swerved left mostly into the, the opposing lane and then you did go right. I can understand why it happened, but again, just be mindful, okay? Oh, yes, I understand. Sir. We've uh, right. we've been trying to actually uh, stick to the limit as much as possible because... Uh, We've been rammed three times today by different drivers. Uh, you know, that's not at all surprising, but just know I will be out there and I will be issuing citations, so. Uh, I for what, one am where very they, happy that you're out there. Where are they frequently uh, driving crazy? Is there uh, like a, 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 I know yeah, everywhere, the but docks, like. They go to the opposite lanes of travel instead of taking the bridge. Yeah, you're not wrong. I've seen that several times. That's a. Uh, I don't I mean, give any leniency a, uh, when I see people do that shit. I would simply say there's like three or four citations there and maybe jailable offense. Oh, so. oh, 100%. Easily reckless driving. Uh, typically yeah. speeding, driving on the wrong side of the road. Uh, yeah, it, it, trust me. Negligent driving thrown in there, because why not? It's, uh, it's definitely... Mean, uh, the way they were talking to you as well down there uh, wasn't very uh, polite. <laughs> Who called yeah, the well... police down here? I don't know. It's a public job. 
like a yeah i was there because the drivers led me there with how they were driving yeah i don't get it i'll uh i'll leave y'all be i'll uh, be in the area looking for people driving crazy okay stay safe Did I do that? What? <clears throat> I'm thinking we go back to popular. I'm not sure. What the fuck? It's definitely something strange with this road. A lot of cars make that like left there. Dispatch 130, 1038, northbound Elgin. Harris Cross San Andreas app. A, a grime truck occupied one. <coughs> Engine off, windows down, please. Hello. Hello. Hi. I'm Officer Rhodes of the Los Santos Police Department. How are you? I'm sorry, what was that? Thank you. How have you been? Uh, I'm good. I'm good. Um, Dispatch 113-1038. I'm going to assume truck, you know Elgin the reason Avenue for the stop. At Auto Exotic. It's not because you, you're asking where I brought my jacket, is it? Uh, no, I... No, no, I... The reason I pulled you over was because you were speeding. Yeah, sir. I've got some. Can I show you the back quickly? No, 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 no. Remain right. in the vehicle. You're more. You're more than welcome to have a look. I've got some medical supplies in the back that I've just picked up from the hospital. They need to get to the um, the urgent treatment center right now, very urgently. Otherwise, there well, you know some parts of livers and kidneys in there for a transplant. I I, I do understand that, but typically those are in you know uh, containers capable of keeping them at. Whichever, you know, temperature is required. Of course. To... Right. And the thing is, 